Our brains, those three pound universes within our skulls are the ultimate learning machines. They adapt, they remember, they evolve. But what if I told you this capacity for learning isn't unique to the brain? What if I told you that even the humblest cells in our bodies possess a kind of intelligence, a way of learning from their environment? This is the astonishing discovery that has sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community. For centuries we believed that learning was the exclusive domain of complex nervous systems. Now we're beginning to understand that even single cells, the fundamental building blocks of life, can exhibit forms of learning. This revelation has profound implications for our understanding of biology, evolution, and the very nature of intelligence. Think about it. Each cell in your body, from the neurons firing in your brain to the muscle cells contracting in your heart, is a tiny world unto itself. It's a bustling metropolis of molecules, a whirlwind of chemical reactions, all orchestrated with astonishing precision. And now, we're discovering that these minuscule worlds are far more sophisticated than we ever imagined. So how do cells learn? How do they process information and alter their behavior in response to their environment? The answer lies in the intricate network of signaling pathways that crisscross the cellular landscape. These pathways, like the neural networks in our brains, allow cells to communicate with each other and with the outside world. When a cell encounters a stimulus, whether it's a hormone, a nutrient, or a toxin, it triggers a cascade of molecular events within the cell. Specific proteins like messengers relaying vital information are activated or deactivated, altering the cell's behavior. This intricate dance of molecules allows cells to respond dynamically to their surroundings, adjusting their metabolism, growth rate, and even their fate. Imagine a cell as a conductor leading a symphony orchestra. Each musician represents a different molecule or protein, and the music they create is the cell's response to its environment. The conductor in this case is the cell's genetic code, providing the instructions for this molecular symphony. But here's where it gets truly mind-blowing. Cells don't just react to their immediate environment, they can also retain a memory of past experiences. This cellular memory allows them to mount faster and more effective responses to familiar challenges. It's as if the cell has learned from its past and is better prepared for the future. One way cells achieve this memory is through epigenetic modifications. These are like molecular sticky notes that attach to the cell's DNA altering the way genes are expressed without changing the underlying genetic code. These epigenetic marks can be passed down from one generation of cells to the next, providing a form of inherited memory. Think of a time you touched a hot stove. Your hand recoiled instantly but your brain also stored a memory of that painful experience. The next time you encounter a hot stove your hand will likely recoil even faster, thanks to that stored memory. In a similar way, cells can remember past encounters with stress, toxins, or pathogens, allowing them to mount a more robust defense in the future. Section 4. Echoes of the Mind The parallels between cellular learning and brain function are striking. Both rely on complex networks of communication, both exhibit forms of memory, and both are essential for survival. This begs the question, are we witnessing a primitive form of intelligence at the cellular level? While it's tempting to anthropomorphize cells and attribute human-like intelligence to them, it's important to remember that we're dealing with very different scales of complexity. The human brain with its billions of neurons interconnected in intricate networks operates on a level of sophistication far beyond that of a single cell. However, the discovery of cellular learning forces us to reconsider our definition of intelligence. Perhaps intelligence isn't a binary switch, but rather a spectrum with different levels of complexity emerging at different scales of biological organization. Section 5. A New Frontier in Biology. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching. By understanding how cells learn and adapt, we can gain new insights into a wide range of biological processes, from embryonic development to cancer progression. Imagine developing new drugs that could reprogram cancer cells, erasing their harmful memories and coaxing them back into a healthy state. Or imagine harnessing the power of cellular learning to enhance tissue regeneration, allowing us to repair damaged organs and even reverse the effects of aging. The discovery that cells can learn is a testament to the awe-inspiring complexity and ingenuity of life. It reminds us that even in the tiniest corners of the universe wonders abound, waiting to be discovered.